Well, we do have the combo. I'm gonna keep this. The sand actually looks really good. Looks like no overground tomb in the deck. Um, it's kind of a, you know, we, we can still untap the Triumph next turn to play the Wish Claw. I guess we're supposed to actually get Stomping Ground. Hopefully this lives. Now I'm going to power through. We're going to finish this. I'm, I'm excited to play this. I, I, I'm feeling good. I'm going to get it done. I'm playing against another Arbor Elf combo deck. And tapping Wish Claw Talisman against the Arbor Elf combo deck is often risky. Uh, yeah, I used to play Popper. I used to play like Blue Delver and Affinity. They go after the Talisman. Interesting. Hmm. So we can Wish Claw for uh, Spell Shift right now. And if we draw an untapped land, we win the game. I think I'm just going to uh, Vendillion click them instead. They only have three cards. If I if, if this if the second Love Struck Beast was was the untapped land to try to kill next turn, maybe we go for it, but it's kinda of, it's just so risky to tap Wish Claw Talisman and pass against an opponent who has so much mana. Click does seem pretty good in the stack. Puts the uh, primal surge on the bottom. Aladarmy's call and Ranger Captain. Put the Ranger Captain on the bottom. Ballista's pretty good here either way, though. I guess it gets to make a 2-2 Ballista if we um, don't take the call. Or if we take if, if we take the Captain over the call, but both are tough. Why let them get Ballista? They get Ballista either way. Just like one, one way they get a 3-3 that also... Uh, Interacts with our combo. So, if we wish call Talisman, activate it, and they get a Heliod, they play Heliod, they one mana to get Heliod, play Heliod, lifelink the Ballista, and they kill us. No, no, they if they life yeah if they lifelink Ballista we just block. And then that, that doesn't kill us. Beast on D. I think that... I think we're just trying to kill them next turn, right? And make sure there's nothing else to wish claw for. But I think we're just trying to draw an untapped land and win. This does make sense to me. Can we not, if we play wish claw and pass, we can't kill them next turn. Yeah, being able to get maybe explosives would be good here. I think this is fine. I think we have to get a little lucky to win this game anyways. And so just saying, my, my opponent my opponent can't kill me right now. They just can't do it. Uh, and so if we draw an untap land, we win. Seems fine. I don't think it's getting better than this this game. Because they, they get Heliod, cast Heliod, um... And then they can give the Ballista lifelink, but we just block before they can combo off. And now they've given us the talisman back. If only there was like, we could get like an ancient tomb. I mean, we might as well block this, I think. Doesn't really matter. But now they can't spin the mana to activate Heliod targeting Ballista. So we can even just Wish Call Talisman for like Bone Crusher Giant here. Uh, if we miss. Ah, top land! Wait, do we have actually, do we have a Steam Vents? We do have a Steam Vents. But this does mean we get to win next turn. So we just get a Bone Crusher Giant. Right?
and play this tapped. And if our opponent doesn't have another Ballista, we win. Very exciting. Well, we might not get the combo, JK. They could have a Ballista. Conclave Mentor into anything? Passing the turn? Oh my gosh. Dude, this is awesome. We get to combo game one. We also could draw Primal Surge. I hate to say it. But if we draw Primal Surge, we have a 1 in 44 chance of not comboing still. Yeah, Talisman only has three counters. All right, I'm holding control. We're doing it. This is amazing. Thank you, JK, for donating for this. I know you're not. I know you just said you're not here right now, but this is a really cool list. Like probably the coolest dono deck we've gotten in a while. Really, really innovative. No, we don't want to hold up Stomp till they try to give it lifelink because they'll just give it lifelink again. Primal Surge, baby. Hopefully, Magic Online doesn't break. Actually, that could happen. Oh my! I probably does get to see the deck. Woo! Oh, wait. Hold on. These Uro triggers happen. We have to make sure to stack the Uro triggers correctly. Because we'll die if we stack them incorrectly. This is sick. Oh, my opponent conceded. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to stack the triggers, just want to make sure. Did it fizz? No, we won, we won. Pretty exciting. So Oof stops their combo, but it also stops our talismans. We do beat infinite life. Explosives is also weird because we're also a Arbor Elf Utopia Sprawl deck. We probably want to play, oh, the Ashok's actually kind of good against them. Especially when you can play it on turn two. Yeah, yeah, tutor for oof and pass, and then they can't activate the talisman. Actually, that that's, makes sense. Um, I think I want one explosives, not two. I think I can probably cut an oracle, right? Maybe that's a bit too risky. Yeah, you could play a Jace instead of an Oracle. I guess they could maybe kill the Jace in response, though. You could play a 1-1 one, one split. It doesn't really matter. Cut a couple Borrowers and a Merchant. Hmm. Yeah, cutting Oracle means... Oh, it just means we, we can't combo if we draw it. It doesn't mean we lose the game. And we can also Vendillion and click it back to the bottom. I'm going to keep this. We have the Spell Shift in our hand, which is actually great. Uh, although we're a few mana away. This deck could use some Valkyrie Awakening. The problem with the Valkyrie Awakening is an instant, so it doesn't work with Spell Shift. All right, that's a one mana adventure to go with our Spell Shift. So if we get to five mana, we win. Uh, yield to end step. Oh, yield to end step. Yeah, Horn's Dust is for the aggro decks. Seems okay. You get a Walking Ballista. I think we're getting a Teamer Triumph. Okay, it's fine. So just need we need to rattle off lands. Dude, five owing with this deck would be so sick. I feel like the I think the wish fairy is super slow. But it, it, it is possible you could play like Edgewall Innkeeper and you can just play you can just play the adventure deck, right? 
It seems possible. Let's play the Oof, because we know they have all these... Uh, they have two Ballistas now. That's, that's two cards in their hand. Oh, gross. Human Spirit Guides is probably not good. I think we're dead. I think it was better to play the Oof that last turn because they had all these Ballistas, but I don't know. I think we're just dead. Yeah, we, we kind of just can't beat the Ballista that's in their hand. Right, let's go to game three, get to be on the play. No, I, I didn't cut, I didn't end up cutting the second Oracle. They're both in the, in the deck right now. This sounds great. Do we get basic forest? They don't, they don't usually play Field of Ruin or Ghost Quarter. Hmm. Could get Stomping Ground. I'll, I'll just get Basic Forest. I think we just Utopia Sprawl off the forest here and then play Uro and then get a Triumph tapped. I know it's like a little slow. But I don't think we need to play the Talisman this turn. We also don't have any, we're missing you know half of the combo. That, that's half the combo. Pretty cool. Can we, can, can we actually get a red and black source? Oh, maybe that was wrong. Looks like we may get to Obstructionist this Wooded Foothills, though. Yeah, I can't. No red and black Triome. So I guess we just get the black one. It's a bit more important here right now, I think. There's red mana. So we should be good to win next turn. And of course, we also get to Obstructionist their Wooded Foothills, so I, I have a hard time imagining us losing. What's the combo? Uh, I'll show you next turn. We've already done it once. It's pretty sick. Although we could draw the, we could draw the. Uh, I can't remember the name. Primal Surge. If we draw the Primal Surge. If we draw Primal Surge, we'll lose the combo. But we'll, we'll show you how it works and. Next turn, be more exciting that way. In fact, I think we're not supposed to fetch to, to lower the chance that we draw Primal Surge. Cool. All right, so we're going to Wish Call Talisman for Spell Shift. And I can't imagine Green White Heliod has any way to disrupt this. Then we spell shift our own adventure creature. Cast Primal Surge. Win the game. Put every card in our deck into play and uh, win with Thassa's Oracle Trigger. You can tutor and upkeep. Oh, I thought it was main phase. During your return, I see. Okay, that's good to know. One and O, oh, baby. We can haggle away an Uro. It's kind of good. And Mulligan. People always ask which of these is the best. We just have all of them in our hand. Uh, I'm gonna save this for the combo, I think. Looks like we're playing against Mono Blue Tron. Maybe a bad matchup. Get the Teamer Triumph. 
thing. I guess we petty theft this map and then they can't replay it because of the chalice. What do you do against counterspells that deck? Uh, maneuver perfectly. Play perfectly. Chalice one is, is kind of obnoxious, of course. I'm just gonna borrow her. Yeah, yeah, you can you can just attack them. Yes, Chalice is is pretty good right now. Don't think I want to bounce it. Uh, hopefully, I guess this is probably just not resolving ever. You know, one of their three cards in hand is an expedition map. Did I have explosives from the side? This is game one. Well, they, they played a map, and then they played Chalice, and then we bounced the map, and so they can't replay it. Hardcast Merchant? Ooh, that's actually kind of good, yeah. We're just getting the second try on with this. Oh, Karn's getting attacked. They're getting a worm coil, it's fine, it doesn't matter. Worm coil has started to be really bad in modern, I think. I just can't remember the last time I was scared that my opponent cast worm coil in Jin. I'm gonna attack both at Karn in case they have Dismember or just any other removal spell. Cool. That is the card I was kind of hoping to find. Maybe I just never played decks that Wormcoil is good against. I'm just going to probably just let them gain six and then bounce end of turn. Maybe I'll end of turn. Maybe I'm just going to haggle first before I Uro. Because this, uh, I want to get rid of the Sprawl. I've never hard cast a Merchant of the Veil before, but it's pretty good. It's also funny that this deck plays Utopia Mystic Sanctuary, but it's so you can get back your, you know, Spell Shift, of course. But kind of funny in, like, a deck with no other instance, just one. Worm Coil Obliterates Aggro. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly just talking out of my ass, honestly. Oh, you can also just draw a Primal Surge, huh? And cast it. We're only we're two mana away, and it's not like super likely we get to do it, but I think we're gonna play to it. And Worm Coil is like way worse against bounce effects, and there are a lot more bounce effects in modern than there have been in the past. Surge will hit spell shift. Oh boy. Well, maybe we'll just get rid of the spell shift too. We can bounce the chalice and play Arbor Elf and just cast. We can we can also just primal surge and hope to put like. 20 cards into play and win the game, right? No, Teferi would be really good in this deck, but the problem is you're you're already you're already four colors that aren't Teferi colors. 
Not that not white. Chalice on three. Alright, untap land lets us uh, primal surge. I'm supposed to bounce this, actually. Huh, maybe I was yeah. Yeah, Love Struck Beast hard countered. I don't think I'm supposed to wish for anything right now. Why not hard cast Primal Surge? We're, we're, we're a mana short. I, I said why. Dude, letting the tutor is so tough. Tutor spell shift with Talisman, then cast Surge. The problem is the Surge is in our hand. We didn't draw the land again. I mean, if we get click, it just gets countered to the chalice. But we can get petty theft and escape Uro, maybe. We'd also bounce the talisman and replay it. It's not really do anything. Not a, arrow's not counted if we do this. Well, maybe you're responding to someone asking me to escape Uro. I don't think we're supposed to wish claw for a land and pass and get, let our opponent tutor for something to stop us. Yeah, you you can't play Valakid Awakening in this deck because it's an instant and it doesn't work with spell shift. Because spell shift needs the only instant or sorcery in your deck to be a primal surge. Oh, they may just like not tap the talisman. It's kind of interesting. They all they also like definitely have a counter spell, right? Although they, we we can play all of our three drops next turn. Maybe we just draw our entire deck. Okay, we we can play we can play uh primal surge now. But I think I just want to uh not right now cast some of my three drops and maybe bait out a counter it's also possible our opponent taps out we also draw the spell shift and get it out of the deck click is really interesting draw the combo is using spell shift on an adventure creature while the primal surge is in the deck if if a if a uh Mod wants to type out something to that effect. That'd probably be good. I think they're trying to talisman here, and they can't. Maybe we're supposed to unleash the flyers this turn instead. The, the combo ghost is to cast spell shift on an adventure creature while the primal surge is in your deck. Then primal surge into your entire library of all permanents, and one of those permanents is Thassa's Oracle. Alright, let's take a look at their hand. We could also bottom the surge, but they do have Cyclonic Rift. But not the mana to cast it. So we could have just jammed the surge last turn, I guess. Uh, resolves. I will not put a card back. Well, the thing is, we still have, we, the spell shift is in the deck. So if we draw an untapped land, we can tutor for the spell shift and then cast primal surge, and then primal surge works. We kind of have to draw an untapped land here. They're going to chalice on two. two. Hopefully they don't chalice on ten. If, if we don't draw the untapped land, we still can cast the surge, right? And hope to get lucky. We could, or, or we could draw the spell shift. Okay. Very cool. Opponent was a fool for not trying to chalice on ten.
obviously they are not very in tune with the modern metagame. Yeah, but uh, untap land or the spell shift let us do this. And also, what's really cool about this is my opponent doesn't know that we're a spell shift deck, right? Oh, whoops. I, oh, no. I'm accidentally shocking. Ah. So I'm clicking yes to shocking on accident. I almost killed myself. My, my opponent doesn't know I'm a spell shift deck because I drew the spell shift. This is wild, dude. Okay, we don't need to... Yeah. <sighs> Someone asked how to beat counterspell decks. Easy. Easy. Not even a problem. Yeah, this deck is nuts. Yeah, now they know the Chalice on 10. Uh, explosives are kind of nice to blow up Chalices. I'm not sure what we're trying to cut. Maybe we can trim on the Merchants, trim on Beast. I feel like these guys are really good, the three drops. Could trim on Talisman against Karn, the Great Creator. Can also cut the third Uro, seems fine, maybe. You assume they cut Chalice? I don't. It's also Mono Blue Tron. I don't think, I don't think we're gonna bring in the Spreading Seas for Blue Tron. Oh, let's actually cut a Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher's over B seems, makes more sense to me. Did anyone mention Beseju? Uh, no, but Beseju should probably be in the deck. Seems like a good Wishclaw Talisman target. Oh right, you're right. It doesn't help because they can they can counter either part of the because you're spell shifting your own spell. You're right. You're right. You're spell shifting your own spell, so they can just target one or the other. That's right. That's right. Or it can counter. It just counters the primal surge. I keep this. We have the spell shift, which is nice. But also battle display expedition map. Moved a sack of potatoes. You moved a sack of potatoes? Oh no. How's it going? What? How's it going? I have four more matches, including this one. What? Is it? Wait, how many matches in a league? Five. Wow. The, the Legacy Leagues took forever. Oh. Oh, so you had some donor decks that were Legacy? Mm hmm. Okay. I'd recommend getting a new boyfriend for the next hour or so. Where can I find one? 7-Eleven maybe. What? Just like any cashier at 7-Eleven is probably uh, down. That's where I'd go. Yeah. If I was hounded for some, some peen. <laughs> No, I'm throwing away the sack of potatoes. I don't really want to let them wish claw talisman, right? We could we could wish we could do something let's let's be cute. I I don't know if this is good, but <laughs> Wish Claw Talisman for obstructionist and then obstructionist their activation. Oh no, wait, hold on, the counter stays on. Oh, wait, or should they keep control of it actually? Uh fine yeah 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 never mind this is bad I think we're still doing it uh because if we just draw one mana adventure we can try to win you can counter their map no they, they've already used their maps they don't have a map no this is still worth it I think this wasn't correct we should probably just got collector oof this also gives us two looks at a one mana adventure spell to win the game. Yeah, I mean that's assuming they 
don't leave mana up, of course. But now we can continue to rectify our mistake. And we can win at instant speed too? With Bone Crusher Spell Shift? What? That's kind of sick. Yeah, we're pushing the Veil for five. That is cool. Yeah, so if they have Thirst for Knowledge here, they just die. Or as soon as they tap that blue mana, they die. I think we just cast the Obstructionist, get some pressure in play, and if they, if they tap their blue mana, they lose, so. I mean, you have to splash the fifth color to play Teferi, but I agree Teferi would be really good in this deck. Bummer. We can also go for it end of turn here and Mystic Sanctuary it back and then spell shift the Heart's Desire. And so they, so they need a second blue source, basically. It's actually kind of good. Yeah, this should this should win, right? They don't. Uh, Tron doesn't usually play Force. I guess they could have like Surgical Extraction, maybe. I guess my opponent can counter the Primal Surge. I guess I kind of. I figured. I just figured they'll counter this. But you're right. They should just counter the Primal Surge. Maybe they don't have a counter spell. Unlikely, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oops. If Surge goes to the graveyard, we can Mystic Sanctuary it at some point. Condescend for five. Yeah, we can try to hard cast it. Wait, why didn't I draw a card? That was their instep. Why didn't I get a new card in my hand? What am I missing? Did I just not draw a card for turn? I've never seen this happen. Yeah, yeah, I, I cast it on their instep. Can I get a clip? No, lo game log doesn't say the draw, but yeah, it, it just it just went to my turn. I didn't get to draw a card. I checked the I checked the game log and it, we did it on their end of turn. But the game log doesn't say draw for turn. Do you break the client? I would like to see a clip if anybody wants to go do that, but no big deal if not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 I I I kinda I thought that the Mystic Sanctuary thing would work, but I didn't realize it would just counter the primal surge, of course. This seems fine. Can we get Stomping Ground? A breeding Pool, because we have a Dilling Click. Breeding Pool and name Red. Build your own Triome. Topaz Warrior, six months in a row. Hope you have a good holiday, too. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we didn't get a following turn. Probably should have kept playing just to see. Yeah. Just didn't draw a card? Weird. This 
so weird. Does Relic do anything? Uh, I mean, it cycles. I think just like, I think you probably want to battle display most one drops. So we have, we're also an Uro deck. I'm pretty scared of just getting Karned and not getting to use my Wishclaw Talismans. Yeah, I think I just get I just get Bone Crush or uh, Merchant of the Veil vale plus spell shift, and then my opponent just you know they can't really tap out. Oh, I cited out the merchants, so Bone Crusher. You want to be able to do it at instant speed, and hopefully they just you know play play Karn and pass, and we win the game. Maybe this deck needs a defense grid or two. Could be good. Seems like at least the first copy as a tutor target would be good. Yeah, they could have thought not, but I just don't I just don't think we cannot take this line and, and lose to Karn the Great Creator, which they've already shown us. Yeah, defense grid is is modern legal. Are the pathways just for dismember? Probably. Maybe they play Wish Call Talisman too. But it came back. From 7 Eleven? No, from taking the trash out. Uh huh. The neighbor's door across from us was open. So I was like peeking while I was closing the door. And then she comes in, I'm like closing the door. Awkward situation. Okay. Thanks. Esther loses her mind when I stream late. Yes! It's almost. It's not almost, it's almost four o'clock. It's almost your five o'clock. The Herd of Me, thank you for the host. Hope you're having a good day today. We win, awesome. Very exciting. We're two and oh. We're two and oh in this league with this Primal Surge combo deck. Very, very exciting. And we're two and oh despite Magic Online bugging out and not letting us draw a card. I, sh I should report the bug. I Although I don't know like what happened, but I'll maybe just link, send them the clip. But you're right, I should, I should do that. You have the hiccups? I want to be able to haggle away my Uro in case my opponent's a turn two Thought Not Seer. Which is not something I thought I'd ever say. I'm sorry, my hiccups sound sexy. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm used to it. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm unused to it. You're used to it. Unused to it. We win the game if we draw spell shifts. They're not like cute hiccups. Like. <laughs> No, <laughs> you have to make me laugh uncontrollably. I forgot to do the. I forgot to turn two matter shaper. I, I, I forgot to do the turn two matter shaper bit. I'm chat's puppet. I'm supposed to do everything chat says, not everything you say. Wow! Look, cards I've never seen before. It's Donut Deck Thursday. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yeah, all, all of these are pet cards of mine, especially this one. Mm. I like the art on Utopia Sprawl. Very. <laughs> I would love to get to obstruction as that. But I kind of, I mean, they'll, they'll main phase it if they don't have another land to play. And also, Escaped Uro is really good against Etron if we can get that to happen. Escaped Uro is pretty good against Magic the Gathering. Athena, I swear I put this in your 
box of toys to see if I got it out. Alright, take seven. Pog champ. I want to I want to save this for the spell sh shape whatever probably although if we discard it we are closer to escaping Uro let me just see what we draw for turn another obstructionist yeah it feels bad because I know this isn't the combo but I want to try to escape Uro. So yeah, so we'll play this to chump block. Oh, I'm in my beginning of combat step for some reason. Probably because I went there. I don't, I don't think I need to hold up the obstructionists very badly. I kind of like just chumping. Yeah, uh, each one has been playing Field of the Dead and it doesn't look very good, honestly. It's, I mean, it's not terrible. It's like a, a fine expedition map target. It's just not uh, nearly as good as, as, it, as it is in the Simic decks. Well, Obstructionist would have been good against this. Come on, Tina, give me an app. And now Karn is also back because it shuts off Wishclaw Talisman. And we also don't have our one. If, if we draw the spell, sh spell shift, it's just going to be so breaking here okay um play both of these in pass and i, I guess i'm gonna draw oh come on i keep doing this where I, I put the draw step after i have six it's on me um it's definitely on me okay, I'm, I'm gonna obstructionist the car and trigger see what we draw decide if i'm gonna click my opponent or myself And we still have else to combo here. Is Demir house card? Uh, it's three mana, right? To I don't know. Probably probably not good enough. Wish we could click away a land. I would click away the steam vents. Do we just let this resolve? <coughs> Sorry. We were supposed to, I think, play the click to attack the Karn, uh, but we also don't have outs, right? There's no one card we can draw. Don't do it, you wish. Yeah, I know, I said I wish we could click away the Stevens. I know that I can't. I think we don't have outs, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, we, we should have played the click to try to kill the car and obviously didn't matter. Shieldbreaker seems like better than Bone Crusher at least. One explosives to be able to kill Chalice is good, especially if they like Chalice on Chalice on one doesn't stop the combo because you can just spell shift with the Chalice trigger on the stack, but Chalice on Chalice on three is a problem. I guess that it's not even like really a concern. Yeah, we'll, we'll just be fine if they chalice on one. We also have petty theft. Yeah, they can hear everything you're doing. I always tell you this. They are, you're all, you always like whisper, like chat can't hear you, and you always ask. But and I always tell you, yes, they can hear everything you're doing, well, I, and it's fine. But uh, you just always ask. I can I hear Athena panting? I'm sure they can. Yes. Okay, I need chat to. Because I know they can hear her, like, running. Yeah, they, they, they say, yes, yes, they can. Yes, 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 yes. They really can, they really. Yeah, always. I it's it's fine. It's just you always ask. Me this. Well, whatever. <laughs> I just always think your mic is just... I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you do. <laughs> this is fine. We have the combo. We just have the combo in hand. Uh, if we if we draw a, a one-man accelerant next turn, we just have the turn three kill, which is sick. Maybe it's because I don't expect the mic to be as good as our ears, but that mic maybe is. Maybe. <laughs> so deep. Oh, so wow. deep. Wow. Yeah. 
wisdom with Esther. I mean, even if they have a, they'd have to have a turn two Thought Not Seer if we draw a one man accelerant. Of course, if they Thought Not Seer spell shift, it's really bad for us. Honestly, the, like the the backup beatdown game plan has not seemed super viable, but maybe I just always get to combo off. Man, if we had, if we had a Simeon Spear Guide in the deck, it would be a perfect spot for Simeon Spear Guide. We'd be able to win next turn. Simeon Spear Guide is not in the deck. I'm not saying I don't know that this spot is going to happen often enough to want a spirit guide. I'm gonna pass. No, if we get sprawl, we don't have the mana to play it, so I don't I don't think we're supposed to get sprawl. If you break my nails, I'm gonna kill you. But we can we can tutor up a nimble obstructionist for next turn, and uh, counter a thought not seer trigger. No, yeah, no, we, we just we just get a nimble obstructionist next turn. I don't think we're supposed to like give them the talisman right now. Who needs a workout machine when you have a job to play tug of war with? Oh man, ghost quarter is pretty bad. Especially because now we can't obstructionist. So I, I, I guess we'll just we will tutor up uh, a arbor elf now. No, we'll get we'll get a utopia sprawl. And they shouldn't, with two mana, they shouldn't be able to disrupt us. Maybe they could have like Damping Sphere or something weird. Should be fine. Yes. <laughs> Do they not have a second land? I mean, there's no one mana artifact, right, that gets us. Like there's like nothing they can needle should be fine. The combo has been like way way more uh, easy to pull off than I thought it would be. I mean, it is a two card combo. Yes. Oh, cage. Yep. That does it. Not that they necessarily knew to cage in the spot. But you're right. I need to stop. I guess I could kill myself with shock lands. Oh no, I misclicked. No. I think it's fine. I don't think they're gonna be able to win. Look at all those cards. I clicked, but I clicked no on accident. No. Damn it. Yeah, we can also just win next turn. Sorry, guys. And we're, we're also just a little short from winning off of Devotion. Wait, we don't have a 1-1 one, one for these Lovestruck Beasts, though. And Oh, and if we Primal Surge next turn, we already have both Oracles in play. And so the Primal Surge doesn't do anything. Oh, we have the elves. Okay, yeah, we'll just attack. It's fine. Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see the Arbor Elves. Is bring, bringing in Leyline for Thought on Seer can't be good, right? I don't think so. I don't think it's enough. Yeah, so I would recommend not misclicking there if you're in that spot, but good thing we didn't accidentally click no earlier. Is this not a spreading seas matchup? I guess it is. I guess it is, huh? I'll cut a click. Is Hornet's Dusty Meme? I think it's pretty good against the red decks. Or like maybe maybe not the best thing you could possibly play, but it seems okay enough to to try at least. I'm gonna keep this. Maybe this hands a mulligan. I do like the turn one shield breaker though. And like this could just be a love struck beast uh, hand, you know, where you beat down. Spe they they bolt a five on the play. If we get to go shield breaker and then play a couple love struck beasts, that might be good enough.
Am I a fan of any sports? I used to be really into both football and basketball, but it just became to keep hard to keep up with and do anything else in my life, really. Like it, it was, it was a very time-consuming hobby. Um, I was, you know, I was like glued to the for for football especially. I was just glued to the TV all Sunday, every Sunday, and then I, you know, had too many responsibilities in my life to be able to do that every Sunday. And I, you know, wasn't able to keep up with it as much as I needed to to still be into football. Why not play Beast? I think it's better to just play the three one drops here. Especially, especially kill the maze mind tome with the battle display. Nice thought, not see your opponent. I mean, it still hits something. He didn't hear me. Are you saying something? I said now you're just consumed with magic all day, every day. Oh, well, I mean, it's spying. But now it's your job. Yeah. <laughs> magic is the best hobby. Second tome is pretty good for them to get out of this mulligan. Guy Montaz, I don't sub, but I do grind bits. Well, thank you, Guy. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate that. Glad you're liking the stream. <laughs> I sub, but I don't grind bits. <laughs> Did I say it backwards? No, no. I, I was saying I'm me. I'm backwards with him. <laughs> The 2-2 two -two Ballista. E. I think it's going to start off on Petty Theft here. Is this deck standard tribal? Uh, not exactly. A lot of these cards are standard legal, though. Close enough. I think we're gonna win just with the Love Struck Beast beat down. But it can't Tron us, so they can't all dust, us, they can't make a big ballista. We get the oh, Brazen Borrower. Their Thought Not Seer that they have in their hand. I guess if they have Thought Not Seer plus Dismember, they can stop the Love Struck Beast from attacking, but then the Borrower gets them. Yeah, that doesn't do it. They This just puts them dead on board. I don't know why they haven't conceded. Oh yeah, the Arbor Elf Utopia Sprawl, which makes all the clunky decks in the world viable, right? We're 3-0. I'm super psyched to be 3-0 with this deck. This is the best performing Dono deck of the day. <laughs> okay, so the combo is you cast Spell Shift on any adventure spell, and then because uh, it's this Primal Surge is your only instant or sorcery, you get to cast Primal Surge, and then because all your cards in your deck are permanents, you get to win the game. So definitely a very combo-oriented hand here. Has Uro carried? Honestly, no. <laughs> Uruk maybe is worse than Edgewall Innkeeper or something I was maybe thinking. You could just play Edgewall Innkeeper and maybe maybe you could also try to find Lucky Clover as well. But like honestly Uro Uro isn't even like doesn't feel like that big a deal. So this this could be Jess Guy. Um of course. I think I'm just gonna play a talisman and pass. Yeah, I, 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 have you tried uh, Edgewall Innkeeper, JK? And is and if that card's good in the deck, I think it might be. Uh, the Bant Reclamation deck felt really good. Uh, although we went three and two, we did punt a, a game, and the other game was like pretty close against a Just Guy Polymorph. It felt fine. It's like a solid Euro pile. Looks like it's, this is the Just Guy Lotus Field deck, which I was kind of suspecting. I guess it could also have been Storm, but not, not really after this bolt. Uh, I don't think I'm very interested in Fae of Wishes. I am interested in getting the second Talisman down this turn. It's called Four Color Balrog. Ah, forgot. Oh, this is Kiki Combo? 
This is a brew. We're playing against a brew. Okay, I'm going to get a basic island in case they have Blood Moon in their deck, but I'm also just going to get Merchant in the Veil and Spell Shift and just have the combo that we could do at instant speed. Where is it? Isn't Arc Like back sort of? I mean, Arc Like has always been fringe playable. As, or since the Faithful Suiting ban, it's been fringe playable, and I and just I it, it just could be that, but probably not. All right, I don't think my opponent's gonna expect it. I, I'm sure my opponent doesn't know what's going on unless they were in the stream earlier. Uh, so if they tap out here, we can go for it. And if not, we can click end of turn and see what we need to play around. Oh, I get it because of the... I, I, I see now why it's called Balrog. I didn't get the joke earlier. It's pretty good. Dude, seeing their hand is so good here. Unless their hand is great, then it's bad. Uh, taking one from the flame. What if we just see their hand is nothing? That would be so great. I mean, I guess they would talisman if that was the case. They have a Cryptic Command and Archmage Charm. Hmm. Let's we'll take the Cryptic. And do I dare cast Stomp? I don't think so. I think they're going to... They're casting Opts. Horse. Yeah, they, they may charm or metamorphose to draw here. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard to, for them to not tap out. Or hard for them to to tap out. I was kind of hope I was just you know, I was kind of expecting them to earlier, but at this point in the game, the way they've been playing, it doesn't seem like they're very willing to. So I guess I was supposed to take the the charm actually, just the more expensive spell, but I was thinking they would draw two. No, they have pressure. Aria Flame's going to kill us pretty quick. They definitely have pressure. Let's see, maybe they do something about this. They're playing so scared because they don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, they they know that I'm comboing because I'm playing Wishclaw Talisman, but they just don't, I'm sure, I, I really doubt that they've predicted this as the combo. I don't know that they, it's kind of, I mean, I don't know, they, I'm sure they, they know not to tap out. Oh. No way. Snap opt. Okay, we're gonna let them cast the opt. Obviously... They have two unknowns. Uh, they have Manamorphose. Uh, so they, they effectively have like three possibilities that they have a land here. But I, I, we just are supposed to go for it. If they have if they have a counter spell, good for them. It's not getting better than this. I have to fetch. Yeah, yeah, we we don't we have to go for it here. I we have no choice. There's not going to be a better window. There are many things they could have, uh, but we know that the charm that we do know about is not up currently. And so they might just be reading. They might not know how this works. Uh, how many matches into the league? Three. We're currently three and zero, oh, and this is game one of match four. Yeah, running real late today. You got something. Reman targeting spell shifts. Probably means we just die to the Aria Flame. No, they have they have the charm too. Let's go to game two.
This is gonna be tough. I, th I think we need some uh, defense grades on the sideboard. Leyland does stop Arya, I guess. You can't play Force of Negation in your hand, in your deck. Oh, oh. Yeah, they could have Wishclawed for Force. Although we were doing that on our turn. Uh, well, the problem is with three minutes of Fairies, you have to splash a fifth color. Although it would definitely be great in this deck. I'm just going to resubmit. Deck is perfect. Yeah, I, I think this deck is it feels like the kind of deck that could 5 0 once, and um, because people don't know what's going on. Now, I'm not going to bring in Leyline for Aria Flame. Like, Leyline is a terrible top deck in a very grindy matchup, uh, it seems. It seems like they're just a blue red control deck with Aria Flame as their win condition. And so, uh, you know, Aria Flame, Leyline is something they can balance with Cryptic Command. It's not like if we, it's not like if we play Leyline, they can't win. I don't think it, I don't think Leyline is good. Yeah, yeah, they, they didn't, they did not remand the correct thing. I don't think you want Judge's Familiar or Maelstrom Wander. I think you just want Defense Grid. Or, or, or I mean, Grand Abolisher is double white, right? It's Defense Grid is colorless. Yeah, we're running late today, Smoke Weller. Don't know Deck Thursday often goes a little over. We're 3-0 with this <laughs> Primal Surge combo deck. Why aren't there four veils in the deck? Because any instant or sorcery does not work with the spell shift primal surge combo. That's a spell shift has to go on, on an adventure creature. Vexing Shusters doesn't seem too bad. Oath is interesting. Which oath? Nissa? Don't really think oath works. I mean, like, it, it just it doesn't find. It finds adventure creatures, but not Wish Claw or the, the hard card to find, which is uh, spell, spell shape, shape, spell something. I'm losing my mind. I've been streaming so long. Suboptimal loan. Tyler, thank you. Eight months in a row. Love you, dude. That is you, Tyler, right? I'm not mixing up usernames, as I often do. I love you either way. Yeah, spell shift. My opponent molt to four and conceded. We'll, t wait, we'll take it. I want a 5-0 really badly. I gotta pay these actors less. But I'll take it. Especially when I am dying to <laughs> take a nap after the stream. Yeah, Oath is good with Teferi. Like, I mean, I, it seems hard to like build the deck with white, but it's maybe possible. Oath does also help cast Teferi. I mean, maybe my opponent just mulls to four again and concedes. Um, and I'll, I, I, I just need to talk to my paid actors more. Tan seems actually just like a reasonable hand of magic cards. Yeah, Banth Triumph, dude. The pathways are in the next are, are in the new set, not um I think I'm just gonna get basic forest and sprawl on green. Or sorry, I have sprawl on blue. The uh the other pathways are in the new set, sadly not the other uh triomes. Yeah, wish call has been really good so far. Yeah, people are people being afraid of the other combo piece. I agree is is pretty interesting. I guess there's no way my opponent plays Blood Moon, huh? So let's get Breeding Pool Sprawl here. I think we name Red, and they get a Sultai Triome off of the Delta. I don't think they're going to counter the front half of a row, and if they do, it's not a big deal. This has been one of the stranger matches of Magic I've ever played. This is that game one against this blue-red deck that, like, we couldn't even, like, like they're playing a boil boost man boil proof mana base in, like, a blue-red control deck with Arya and Flame as the win con, which is really weird, but sounds like fun. 
You can do shenanigans with Feldar and Wish Claw. Uh, Feldar doesn't flicker Wish Claw. I think it's permanent you control, not own, right? Wish Claw is good with both Karn. The Wish Claw is good with Karn the Great Creator. I don't think you can play Karn in this deck, but Karn Karn like gets Wish Claw and then also makes it to where your opponents can't activate their Wish Claw, which is kind of good. Just gonna hold up mana here. Ain't no laws when you're casting claws, of course. Do we cast the Obstructionist or the Borrower? I think I'm gonna cast the Obstructionist. Especially because Borrower is part of the combo. Maybe with, maybe Obstructionist shouldn't be in the deck. I know they kind of fit with the game plan, but I could see them not being necessary. And you could, you know, play more innkeepers, cut the Uros, these guys play more innkeepers, maybe play like a Lucky Clover or two. Yeah, I don't know why my opponent cycled the Metamorphoses. I don't really think that there was a good reason why they did that, honestly. Yeah, I mean, Obstructionist is not a bad card. But you could also like play four clicks, and click is pretty good in this list. I mean the legendary is a problem, maybe. Snap, Manamorphose, interesting. I mean Uro does I agree that Uro gives you just a really good plan B. But I, I like that this is one of the first Uro decks where Uro actually feels like the plan B. We won mo most of our games through comboing. We can't brazen borrower our own or our petty theft our own borrower, which is fine. Getting pretty close to escaping Uro, just one card away. Although I'm sure they have a counter spell. If they play Aria Flame, we can petty theft in response to the trigger. Well, that's enough for Uro. Obstructionist, the new Tails in, yeah. It's Tails in that draws a card. I mean, if, if, if Obstructionist could counter legendary spells, it would be it, like a modern staple, in my opinion. I mean, they can't counter this because we just get to escape Uro. Maze Tome is interesting. I feel like it like it's probably not better than Wishclaw Talisman. I kind of want to hold the Bone Crusher in case we draw a Spell Shift or a Wish Claw Talisman. We probably have to. Probably have to. Thank you, Ghost. Have a good night. I don't think I'm going to Uro into Cryptic Command Mana, though. I don't think we really need to. Especially because we're, like, ahead on board winning this race. They, like, I think it's very likely they have just a Cryptic Command, yeah. Yeah, long stream today, Kotal. We're three and zero with this deck. I mean, maybe we want to stomp. That way, we could just play two threats next turn and overwhelm their mana. Yeah, I think I think we need to stomp, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna stomp the Snapcaster or stomp them. I think them. Yeah, I think I think it's better to just be able to play two threats here. Obviously, if we draw Wish Claw Talisman or Spell Shift, it feels bad, but we can, like, maybe still make that good. And look, we drew another Bone Crusher. And so we can attack with the Borrower, see what they do, and then play a Bone Crusher Giant. And if they uh, do nothing, we'll just pass with the other Bone Crusher up. It definitely seems like they want to do something about this. But of course, it, 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 this them pausing so much on this attack and the last attack is indicative of them, you know, worrying about being able to answer Uro and answering the Borrower. Yeah, so here they snap Bolt and then they uh, no longer have mana to Cryptic Command Uro.
Blue, blue, green, blue, green. And uh, we already have enough mana to pay for mana leak. I'll just play the Delta though. Our graveyard also isn't relevant uh, at all right now because we already have the Sanctuary in play. Gonna remand. Okay, that's fine. I'll play Bone Crusher Giant. Do you really think my opponent has a uh, cryptic in hand? I think I wanted to play Uro first because of like the possibility of mana leak. Uh, but if my opponent had not killed the the borrower, I would have played Bone Crusher first uh, and see if they wanted to cryptic that, and then we get to play Uro. I don't want them to counter my stomp. Let me just play an Uro, the front half, and see what we draw. But if we attack and they double block, it's not that good an exchange for us. I guess it's fine because we have the Uro we want to escape. Yeah, I, I feel like Edgewall Innkeeper, I'm not sure. Innkeeper's maybe a little slow, but Innkeeper's like, been very good and uh, standard when I've played with it. Well, if we attack a double block and we stomp and they counter the stomp, I'm, I don't like that exchange for us. I don't think that exchange favors us. Especially because also the stomp means if we draw, like having the stomp means Wishclaw Talisman is kind of on, you know? But if they counter this Uro, if they tap low, then we can attack, you know? Like if we don't think they have it, like if they have three two mana counter spells, good for them. They're gonna cryptic this, sure. Yeah, so now now I think we have a good attack. I I I guess they, they probably do double block. It's not a hundred percent that they will. It's kinda of fine if they don't. Kinda of fine. You could have force of negation. It's probably not the end of the world, right? I mean, if they force, they have one card in their hand, and we still have Uro, and like they they still lose both their snaps. I'm gonna put a card on top with Opt. Hopefully, it was this Lightning Bolt. They go down to six. Yeah, it seems like they're a blue red control deck with their main win con being Aria of Flame. Although it's possible they have, they probably have more than just Aria. If I had another land, I would have played the Uro, but I'm just going to hold up Obstructionist. You're scared of Boil? Uh, yeah, they probably have Boil in there. I mean, if, if, if they have Boil and nothing else, we still win. Be fine. Yeah, they can also be through the breach. Oh, no, there's no way they play through the breach, Immercool, and Aria Flame, right? Ooh, ugh. now I wish I'd held this to counter the trigger. Opinions on Nimble? Uh, Nimble Obstructionist is a modern, like, it's good enough for some decks in modern. It's It's fine. I don't know that it's correct for this deck, though. It's it certainly feels like something that's not uh, crucial for the deck. Well, if they don't have a counter spell and they don't block, we just win. So let's see if they have a counter spell. Or so let's see if they block first. Okay. Because we can just get a we can just get the fourth Bone Crusher Giant. Which I didn't side out, did I? No. And we still get to cast this arrow if, even if this doesn't work, but I, I think we go for it. We even just cast it through a remand, so it's like they have to have force of negation. 
Or I got double spell pierce. It'd be fine. Four and oh. Four and oh. Awesome. I'm fighting so hard. I'm fighting for my life. Uh, I didn't see the new wolf card. I'll take a look if you link it. I haven't seen any spoilers today. Hard to mulligan. Sprawl plus elf. And keep. Storm. Eesh. I guess Leyline could just beat Storm. Yeah, Leyline's great against Storm. Hmm. Um. Actually, I think I. No, this is fine. This is fine. I'm gonna click them now to play around remand. Their hand is Desper Ritual, Grape Shot, Manamorphose. Um, remand. Take the. Hmm. The Grape Shot is a big problem, of course. But can we ever beat this remand? I don't think so. I'm just gonna take that. Is there a way we should be only playing one Oracle? Uh, maybe, I think I think two is fine. Like Oracle's also a card you can just cast and it's not good, but it has an effect for two mana as opposed to Primal Surge. Sick rip. I guess they had two draws, of course. Um, yeah, we know they have Fiery Islet and Manamorphose, so we're just dead, let's go to game two. Definitely a good late line matchup. And I guess we want to have an explosives for. Hold on. Customer, you okay? Yeah. Ash Shark is fine too. Ley line's really good against him because it stops gifts and grape shot on our life total. Um. I'm gonna trim an Uro. Obstructionist stops the storm trigger. Trim a borrower, trim a couple bone crushers. Talisman is also kind of dicey. I'll, I'll cut one. Give me really bad to draw two, I imagine. Yeah, I, I'm gonna really hope to have a ley line in my hand and cheese them here. Although this hand's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. Too bad my opponent's not playing fetch lands. We, we just can't afford to mulligan this hand. We'd also like maybe play explosives on two and then like they play a mana guy and it's possible we blow up, we blow up both the wish claw and the um, and the, their two mana guy. I guess I won't like hold my breath for that to happen, but it could be cool. So we need to cast a four mana counter spell called Spell Shape uh, on our, and oh, interesting. I guess Ashiok and Wish Call Talisman is a combo, huh? Yeah, somebody type out the combo. I think yeah, so I, I think I will go ahead and grab the spell sh shift shape and help Ashiok stop my opponent from comboing, which it probably should. And maybe uh, we just like explosives on two next turn, especially if, we, if they play another guy. We tap two mana and then Serum Visions. They also might activate this, not realizing the interaction. Well, they probably just have Pass in Flames. I mean, we'll just make them have it. Be a kind of an anticlimactic end. Dead to Remand, I guess. Oh, they, they just, they Grape Shot the Ash Shock and then they Talisman. 
Damn it. I tried really hard. I really went into 5 0 with this deck. I think this deck was, you know, pretty impressive for as well as we did with it. But Storm was the fun police. And we get to say something really nice, which is Uro felt like the worst card in the deck, maybe. I mean, it was it was fine some amount of the time, but it didn't feel key to the deck at all. And I, I think it's possible that like Edgewall Innkeeper is a, is a better plan B. And so you could try doing something like, like cutting these five for four Edgewall Innkeepers and maybe the second click. It's kind of something you could consider. Um, and I, I think that you're going to win most of your games on the you know, surprise factor. I think f four Hornet's Nest is probably not where you want to be. It's possible that like Elder Gargaroth is better. I also think you need to play a defense grid on the sideboard as a tutor target. We could have Obstructionist and Storm Trigger. I mean, if we had mana up, uh, yeah. Yeah, you could also maybe play Lucky Clover as uh, one Lucky Clover or something as a tutor target. Um, But yeah, I think I think that I kind of just down to cut these.